Many viewers have loved my Lovathor animation for the name and have asked me how I created it. So here's the thing, I have created this animation using After Effects. But I have discovered a workaround to achieve a similar effect using Shortcut. Hello, I'm Sanketa and welcome to my YouTube channel Vertical Darts. I am using the 1920x1080 format to create this lower third and I have added this background just to have something underneath the text. Add a video track for the lower third. First, let's create the shape. Click on open other and select color. Then click on the color tab and choose the color you want to use. Drag and drop the color shape onto the timeline. After that, click on filters and then the plus sign. Look for the crop effect and choose crop rectangle. Adjust the size to create a rectangle. Click on transparent which is located next to the padding color. Now you can see the background. Move your cursor to around 15 frames and add your first keyframe. To do this, click on the stopwatch icon. By the way, if you want to see this keyframes panel separately, you can click on the keyframes title, hold it and move it. You can place the keyframes panel on the left for a better view. It's better to keep the keyframes and timelines panel separate for a clearer view. Now move the play here to the beginning. Since we want to animate this shape, hide the rectangle at the start and show it forming from right to left. First, crop the shape from left to right, making the width size 0 to make it completely invisible at the beginning. Now move the play head a few frames further and click on the stopwatch icon to create the keyframe. This ensures the shape stays the same for a few more frames. Move the play head a few frames further again. Here, crop the shape from the right side to the left side. It will add a new keyframe. Let's preview it. Before we proceed, a quick reminder, if you are enjoying the video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Now let's add another video track and move the red shape to video track 3. Select video track 2 and click on open other, then color. Choose the white color and click open. Drag and drop it to the video track 2. Click on the filter tab then the plus sign and look for crop. Select crop rectangle. Click on the transparent. Make it the exact same size as the red rectangle and add the same keyframes at the beginning. Click on the red rectangle. Go to the second keyframe. You can use these arrows to go to the next or previous keyframes position. Click on the white rectangle. Click the stopwatch icon to add the keyframe to that position. Make the white rectangle a little shorter than the red one to create a gap between the two shapes later in the animation. Again, click on the red rectangle to get the first keyframes position. Click on the white rectangle and crop it from left to right making the horizontal size 0. Now add a new video track and move the red rectangle to track 4. Click on open other and select text. Drag and drop the text onto the timeline to video track 3. 
Move the play head to see the white rectangle's position. Then change the text size according to the composition. Change the text. Change the font color. Get the color picker and choose the red color from the rectangle so that we will get the exact same color. Click on OK. Click on Outline and make the opacity 0 as we don't want to add any outline to our text. Click OK. Click on the plus sign, look for Crop and add Crop Rectangle effect. Click on Transparent. Go to the second keyframe position for the red rectangle. Hide the red rectangle for now so we can see the text layer. Go to the text. Select the crop effect. And add a keyframe to that position. Crop the text from left to right making the text invisible. Again click on the red rectangle. Go to the third keyframe. Go to the text, select the crop effect and move the crop slider to the left making the text visible. Now click on the show icon so the red rectangle will be visible. Go to the last keyframe position. Click on the white rectangle. Click on this icon to create a keyframe on this position. Move the playhead a little further and crop the white rectangle according to the text size. The animation will look like this. And the best part, you can export it as a transparent text template so you won't have to create this animation every single time. Let me show you how. Let's delete the background first. Click on Export. In the preset, under Alpha, select QuickTime Animation and click on Export File. Select the location and click on Save. For the next time, you can just import that file into the project and use it. You can add size, position and rotate filters to it and make changes accordingly. You can create your own lower third design by using this technique and adding your personal style to it. I'm going to post more lower third design tutorials soon so keep an eye on that. If you found this video helpful then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.